I hate cables in general, so let's take a look at my favorite feature that's been released in Flutter 3.10. Here we have just a Flutter application. If I go and run the application, just a normal Flutter run command, you should be able to see that we have some devices, but we're also checking for wireless devices here. And here you can see my phone popping up. If we run that, we should be able to see that it will be wirelessly connected. And if I kind of show you, here's the phone, no connection at all. And here we have it running. And we can see that if I just do a like hot reload, we can see that it's like still very fast. I mean, 260 milliseconds, 140 milliseconds, 97. So I mean, what I do now is just, I used code with this. Like I don't ever use a cable ever now, unless I want to actually charge my phone. So I mean, the next step is just getting a wireless charger and having have to care about it like at all in general. And it's so easy to set up as well. Let's take a look just at the, the Flutter release documentation in general. Here we have just a big like Flutter release, what's new medium post. I will link it down in the description as well. You can go down to wireless debugging on iOS and they do a bunch of linking here. We can go to documentation here, which is just the iOS setup. We can write wireless again. You should see the Apple documentation of pairing wireless devices. We can go to that one as well. And here you see like a super simple setup. I'm not going to go through it on like how you can set it up, but I can show you how it should look like. So if you open Xcode, you can go to window, devices and simulators. Once you have that open, you can see that I have my phone connected and it's over the network. And that's just all. Once you have that running, you should be able to do everything. I can go back to the code here, for example. We can just clear the terminal. We can click help. And you can see we can we can still do all of the like debugging or everything that we want to do in general. For example, we have here, let's just take a screenshot. Taking the screenshot and it's now saved. We can go here. We can see that we have a, a screenshot here. We can open it. And we have this screenshot. I mean, everything is working as expected and it's just always, like it's always working. I can just exit this, do another flutter run and it will find the wireless devices. It's just a, such a smooth experience that I just had to make a video on it. Yeah, I don't know. If you're using iOS, I never personally use simulators almost ever. So I always just use my normal device. So if you do too, maybe this is a good, good thing for you too. If it was helpful, subscribe, let me know what you want to see. I don't know, check a video here or here. I don't know, wherever I put it, I guess. Have a good one.